Hi, this is uh, Dr. Hussain from My Hair Clinic. Some of our patients and viewers have suggested we also do an introduction uh, of our clinic and not just on the subjects related to hair loss. So we thought we'll just give you a very brief uh, introduction to the clinic. This is our reception area. Renee is sitting there listening to songs, watching a serial, or maybe she's actually also working. She's a registered nurse with the, uh, in Pakistan, and uh, she's been working with us for a couple of years. The remaining staff, most of it is, uh, we've just hit them. Behind the camera is Rina, and she's been working with us for, for quite a while. This is the f uh, reception area, and with this in the same hall, we have a waiting area uh, where we are uh, having a display on with some videos and uh, presentations about hair loss. This is uh, roughly 3,000 square feet available for surgery consultation so, and uh, the waiting area, the common areas. We also got two bedrooms uh, as 99% of our patients come from abroad. It's probably the only clinic in the world where 99% of the surgeries are on patients that come from abroad. And uh, you basically just need to get to Islamabad airport. The rest will take care of. I'm being a bit informal. I've got my one leg up on the sofa. I think you guys will survive that. I'm just being a bit easier. So we got these two bedrooms and uh, we got uh, full board accommodation. We have uh, arrangements so that once you are at Islamabad airport, we can arrange pick up from there, uh, full board accommodation. We live on the ground floor. The staff is here. If you're staying uh, with us, you'd have uh, very easy access to the staff the days before, the days after the surgery, if that's uh, needed. Fortunately, it's very rarely needed, but just in case if uh, you feel more comfortable, which quite a few patients do, knowing that uh, staff and the doctors uh, are easily approachable, they're around. You don't need to look at other arrangements. Basically, once uh, you decide to have the surgery, you can have it as a complete package. My hair clinic has three locations. We are in Pakistan, UK and Norway. We deliver the same high standard regardless of where you opt to have the surgery. It's the same Scandinavian standards. We go by whatever I've learned from there, what I've been practicing there. We go by those principles over here. I have a monthly trip to Norway, Denmark or UK and uh, I bring my, uh, a lot of stuff from there just to mention a few things. It's uh, syringes and needles to ensure that we live up to the standard that we claim. We don't recycle punches. It should be obvious that punches are not recycled. Unfortunately, it's not that obvious and uh, we use a B-class autoclave which is essentially the highest level of sterilization you can ask for. Whether you have the surgery with me or one of the other doctors, the standard is the same. They have been taught and the safety measures we have in place, the SOPs we have in place, they are there to safeguard the patient. First and foremost, we need to look at safety, ensure there is no compromise there. Secondly, the most important thing is once safety is taken care of, the second most important thing is that you get a natural hair transplant. A hair transplant for many patients seems to be, and for many doctors unfortunately, seems to be growing hair. 
It's just like buying a phone for its ability to make a call. Or it would be like buying a car for its ability to drive. You can get cars, used cars, 20 years old at 50, 80, 100,000 rupees. 500 pounds, 600 pounds. But the reason we don't buy those cars is usually because we expect there to be problems. It would break down safety measures. A huge uh, toll on your expenses regarding repairs and uh, maintenance. So the reason we usually opt for more expensive cars, better cars, better quality is for the safety, is for the quality, is for the traveling is easier. The reason we opt for other mobiles than the cheapest one that can actually make a call is because of uh, what we get for the, the value for money we get. A hair transplantation should not be any <coughs> different from that. I know people that are carrying around a iPhone X costing 125,000 rupees and they're looking to have a hair transplant at 35 to 40,000 rupees and once they have the hair transplant at 35 to 40,000 rupees then they are upset that in Pakistan you can't have the quality that you can abroad. Well, you didn't buy quality, you bought the cheapest possible transplant where safety has not been safeguarded, where naturalness is not important. You wanted a transplant, you got a transplant. There's really nothing to complain about. If you want a hair transplant that goes beyond just moving hair, that actually tries to safeguard your health, if that is looking into the naturalness of your transplant, then you'd need to be far more careful, as you would when you're trying to compare an iPhone t uh, against a Samsung, against a third uh, brand. You just don't pick it and say, okay, I'll buy one of these, or I'll buy uh, the cheapest Samsung available, or the cheapest iPhone available, or the cheapest other brand available. You are comparing features, you're trying to get into the details of it, you're trying to understand. We don't recycle punches, we have syringes needles from abroad, we use a B-class autoclave, uh, we don't try to target three to four thousand grafts in five, six hours, which is a very common quote in Turkey, in India, in Pakistan, in many other countries. Three, four thousand grafts in five, six hours. We don't even attempt to deliver on that. We keep it realistic, we keep it real, we keep it where we are actually able to deliver and not just put a claim that we can't live up to. So our target is 2,000 to 2,500 grafts, provided your donor area allows us to take this many grafts. The patients where 1,800, 2,000 grafts is a realistic number. And we say it straight out to the patient, this is what we expect to target. So for us, 2,000 to 2,500 grafts takes 10 to 12 hours. It's not because we can't do it faster. We can do it much faster. We can do it with the hair pointing 90 degrees to the skin. Looking very unnatural, very clearly a hair transplant. But that's really not the purpose of a hair transplant. The only you should be able to see from a hair transplant is that you have hair. Other than that, there should be nothing giving away this hair is not your own hair. There should be nothing really. There should be nothing that tells anyone, look, I had a transplant. And that is our goal, is to deliver on the quality, on the naturalness, on the safety side. We have 99% of the patients say they come from abroad. We have many consultations with patients from Pakistan, but often there are more sole aspect is looking into the price which is where we can't compete and even people from abroad that are looking to have three four thousand graphs in five six hours we cannot compete
If your donor area allows, if you have a fantastic donor area, we can do three, four thousand, maybe even more grafts. If your donor area allows, over two days, we'll be spending 20 hours, 24 hours maybe, over two days to achieve uh, 4,000 grafts, 4,500 grafts even. So, if you're looking for a transplant where you don't need to have a lot of issues after the treatment, then I think this is the right place to be. You can contact us on info at myhairclinic.com. We are also uh, reachable on mobile, WhatsApp, 03211-554-554. If you're c calling from abroad, you can call 0092-3211-554-554. Thank you very much.